Hello everyone, welcome to 7th video of NEET PG 2023 recall question discussion starting with question number 61. 25 years old male coming with midline neck swelling that moves up with protrusion of trunk. So here you can see the midline prominent swelling. It is uh, definite presentation of thyroglossal cyst midline neck swelling that moves up with protrusion of tongue not branchial cyst impinging ranular dermoid cyst coming to question number 62 parameter used to determine q super score see here the q super score parameters number one is systolic blood pressure sbp less than 100 respiratory rate more than 20 and mental status or gcs less than 14 so these are the three parameters and for sirs criteria it is temperature respiratory rate heart rate and white blood cell count so the question asks about the q super score the, so the parameters are systolic blood pressure respiratory rate and gcs are altered mental status so this is the answer parameters used to determine q super score coming to question number 63 female with acne received multiple doses of antibiotics and isotretinoin but unresponsive to treatment what is the next step so you have to look for or exclude any possibility of hyperandrogenism because of chances of Iron syndrome or PCOS polycystic ovarian syndrome so you, you should look for because in case of PCOS there will be hyperandrogenism, insulin resistant acanthocin nigricans and acne that is resistant to treatment with multiple cycle of antibiotic and isotretinoin so you should look for any features of hyperandrogenism next coming to question number 64 medical student 22 years old with palpitation sweating weight loss uh, and this features of eye this is proptosis of bilateral this is all these features suggest your thyroid toxicosis probably the diagnosis is graves disease so the antibody associated with grave disease common antibody yes anti tsh receptor antibody so this is the answer coming to question number 64 smoker nicotine therapy for smoking dependence and clonidine for hypertension patient stopped clonidine but continued nicotine developed headache what is the probable cause it is nothing but classical presentation of rebound hypertension because of clonidine withdrawal so this is clonidine withdrawal symptom so presented with hypertension headache drowsiness nausea vom nausea vomiting alter sensorium etc so clonidine withdrawal causes rebound hypertension and that is causing headache in this patient so coming to question number 60 drug used to treat chemotherapy induced thrombocytopenia yes it is filgastrin no definitely no darbipoietin no it is erythropoietin in analog or filgastrin is granulocyte macrophage colony stimulating factor gm csf analog so the answer is april vaccine april vaccine is the problem is interleukin 11 this uh, interleukin 11 in il 11 agonist which actually stimulate the megakaryocytopoiesis and thrombopoiesis thus increase the platelet level so used in the chemotherapy induced thrombocytopenia the answer is opral vacuum next coming to question number 68 again 67 hypertensive patient on multiple oral antihypertensive drug ECG changes tall T wave which of the following drug is responsible spironolactone because spironolactone can cause hyperkalemia <coughs> next coming to question number 68 aim of using TPA fibrinolysis identify the procedure this is head till chin lift patient known this is head till chin lift and this is jaw thrust <coughs> patient known case of bronchial asthma developed thyroid storm with atrial fibrillation next best step is diltiazem because in case of asthma we should not use propanolol esmolol beta blocker in the next video we are going to discuss question number 71 to 80 thank you